guys, welcome to my channel. Buat kalian yang lagi dapat tugas ataupun lagi mau ikut lomba storytelling tapi masih bingung nih mau pakai cerita apa dan juga masih nggak tahu gimana sih cara melakukan storytelling. Don't worry, karena hari ini aku mau kasih contoh ke kalian melakukan storytelling dan ini adalah salah satu cerita favorit aku. Oke. Okay. So, the story is about the lion and the mouse. One day, a lion was taking a nice nap in the warm sun. Nearby, a busy little mouse scurried along looking for berries. But all the berries were too high for her to reach. Then, the mouse spotted a lovely bunch of berries that she could reach by climbing on the rock below them. When she did, the mouse discovered that she had not climbed a rock at all. She had climbed right on top of the lion's head. Ooh. The lion did not like to be bothered while he was taking a nap. He awoke with a loud grumble. Who dares to tickle my head when I'm taking a nap? Roared the lion. Quickly jump off the lion's head and started to run away. The lion grabbed for the little mouse as quickly as he could, but she was too fast, and he just missed her. The quick little mouse hurried to get away from the lion. She zig and zag through the grass, but the lion was always one step behind her. At last, the lion chased the mouse right back to where they had started. The poor little mouse was too tired to run anymore. The lion scooped her up with his huge paw. Little mouse, roared the lion. Don't you know that I am the king of the forest? Why did you wake me up from my pleasant nap by tickling my head? Said the mouse, I was only trying to get some lovely berries. Just see how much you like it when I tickled your hat with my big claws. Said the lion, please lion, pleaded the mouse. If you spare me, I am sure I will be able to help you someday. The lion stopped suddenly and looked at the mouse. The lion began to smile, and then he began to laugh. <laughs> How could you, a tiny mouse, help the most powerful animal around? He chuckled loudly. That is so funny. I let you go this time. Then the lion laughed some more. He rolled over on his back, kicking and roaring with laughter. The mouse had to leap out of the lion's way to avoid being crushed off she ran. Still chuckling, the lion got up and realized he was hungry. He set out to find some lunch and it was not long before he smelled food. Walking toward the good smell, the lion got caught in a trap set by hunters. The lion was stuck in the strong ropes, and him, the more he wriggled and struggled, the tighter the ropes held him. Fearing the hunters would soon return, the terrified lion rode for help. The mouse heard the lion's roars from far away. At first, she was a little afraid to go back, thinking the lion might hurt her. But the lion's cries for help made the mouse sad, and she remembered that she promised him to help him. The mouse hurried to where the lion was tangled and trapped. Oh, lion, said the mouse, I know what it feels like to be caught, but you don't need to be worried. I will try to help you. I don't think there is anything you can do said the lion. These ropes are very strong. 
long I have pushed and pulled with all my might, but I cannot get free. I have an idea, said the mouse. Just hold still and I will get to work. She quickly began chewing the ropes with her small sharp teeth. The mouse worked and worked, and before long, she had chewed through enough rope for the lion to get out of the trap. Soon, the lion wriggled really free. He was very grateful to the mouse. Mouse, he said, I thank you for saving my life, and I am sorry that I laughed at you before. I told you that I would help you someday when you agreed to spare me, said the mouse. I always keep my word. Then the lion scooped up the mouse and placed her on his head. He carried her back to the berry bush and lay down under it. Mouse, he said, I want you to reach up and pick one of those berries that you wanted to eat earlier today. The mouse plucked the biggest berry she could find. The lion took the mouse off his head and held her in his paw. Let's stick together, he said. I can help you reach the berries and you can get me out of a tight spot now and then. Okay, said the mouse. I will pick you some berries to eat and we can have a picnic together. I don't know if I would like to eat berries, but just having your company would be fine with me, said the lion. So, if you're ever walking along and see a lion laughing and carrying a little mouse, you will know that these two have become great friends because they showed great deal of kindness to one another. The end. So guys, itu tadi dia cerita tentang The Lion and the Mouse. Semoga cerita ini bisa menjadi salah satu cerita yang bisa kalian nanti gunakan untuk tugas ataupun lomba storytelling kalian. Oke okay, kalau gitu, thank you so much for watching this video. Semoga video ini benar-benar bisa membantu kalian. Jangan lupa like dan subscribe biar aku semangat lagi nih sharing-sharing tentang cerita ataupun hal-hal yang lainnya mengenai public speaking. Kalau kalian ada request atau pertanyaan, kalian bisa langsung tulis di kolom komentar ya. Oke, kalau gitu, thank you so much. Bye!